Hi everyone, I'm Captain Doc. Are you interested in learning how to become a Space Force officer? You're in the right place. In this video, we're going to go over the different commissioning paths available to you. And the top four are the Air Force Academy, Space Force and Air Force ROTC, Officer Training School, and Inner Service Transfer. The Space Force is relatively new, first established in 2019. But first, let's take a look at a short clip from the Space Force that shows their mission in action, since you'll be an officer in charge. Today, space is essential not only to our way of life, it's absolutely critical to the modern way of war. GPS, ATMs, cell phones, gas pumps, traffic lights, power grids, guided missiles, surveillance, RPAs, ground combat control. There's no such thing as a day without space operations. You just don't see them. So the Space Force's mission comes down to protecting our country's interests in space. They've got a huge budget for research and development. Approximately $24.5 billion is their total budget, and $10 billion of that, nearly 30%, goes towards research and development alone. If you're interested in STEM, the Space Force is an excellent choice. In fact, right now, there are 10 different jobs that you can choose from as an officer in the Space Force, and these are across four different categories, engineering, acquisitions, intelligence, and cyberspace. Now, I mentioned engineering first because six of the 10 jobs are related to engineering, really relating back to that STEM. Currently, there are over 4,300 officers in the Space Force, so if you're looking to become one of them, you've got a pretty good shot at it. The Air Force is over 300,000 members, and the Space Force only has 16,000 members. Due to the highly technical nature of the Space Force, 40% of all military members in the Space Force are officers. Now let's dive into the four different commissioning paths available to become a Space Force officer. And the first path is the Air Force Academy. This is currently the best option to become a Space Force officer with about 100 Guardians commissioning each year out of the Air Force Academy and that number increasing. However, it's also very competitive to earn an appointment and get into the Air Force Academy in the first place. Also keep in mind there are five different service academies and right now the Air Force Academy is currently the main source for Space Force officers. However, we could see this open up in the next few years if a student's attending West Point or Annapolis, but don't expect more than one or two a year to commission into the Space Force. The second path is through Reserve Officer Training Corps or ROTC for short. You can actually compete for an Air Force ROTC scholarship or a Space Force ROTC scholarship and still commission into the Space Force. And the great thing about ROTC is, is that if you win a scholarship, college is very, virtually free for you. Keep in mind that for Space Force ROTC, there is a technical major requirement with 29 different STEM related majors to choose from, but you have to declare one of those technical majors. And the difference between the Air Force Academy is that you don't have to declare a technical major and you can still join the Space Force. Just remember that even though you might win a Space Force scholarship doesn't guarantee that you'll commission to the Space Force. You could commission into the Air Force too. And the third path is Officer Training School, although very few actually commission this way. OTS for short is for those who've already earned their bachelor's degree and want to become a commissioned officer in the Space Force. Now, usually about 3,000 officers total commissioned through OTS into the Air Force, but these numbers are way less for Space Force. And realistically, you know, for in cyberspace officers, for example, we're only seeing five commission a year. So your chances are not very good through OTS. And the last path is through inner service transfer. This is for those who have already served as officers in another branch of the military they're already in and they wanna transfer into the Space Force. About 3,700 officers were originally chosen to transfer into the Space Force in 2021 and 2022, and that makes up a bulk of the officers that are in right now. And to transfer, you'll need to submit a unit commander's recommendation, your last five performance reports, as well as generic information about your career. To sum it all up, your best bet 
for getting into the Space Force and serving as an officer is either to join the Air Force Academy or join Space Force ROTC. Those are your two best options for joining the Space Force right now. And we wish you luck in your pursuit to become a Space Force officer. We've included links to all the information that we talked about in this video below in the notes. So go ahead and check those out and we wish you the best in your journey to become a Space Force officer and serve our nation.